in this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your Bricks Builder website with a B split test. You can optimize any template parts, headers, footers, page content, or WooCommerce, and it only takes one minute to set up. Let's set up a test to see if we can optimize this header and maybe set up a second test to see if we can optimize this product page. We'll create a new test. We'll call it Bricks header. Now, if we're testing a template part like a header or a footer, we will do an on page test. If you want to swap out different pages like home pages, contact pages, blog lists, shop pages, things like that, you can do full page tests. For the conversion goal trigger, this is what shows that the test has been successful. But because it's a WooCommerce store, we're going to use the checkout order received page. So when they place an order, that will fire a conversion. We're going to test on customers and logged out users. And that's about all we need. So now that test has started, all we need to do is go back to our header. We'll edit the header inside bricks and what we're going to do is we're going to create two different header rows and we're going to change them around a little bit we'll get rid of this icon list and we'll change the whole thing to be Go. We've got our two different versions. All we need to do now is tag them as a test. So we click on the section style, AB split test, and then we choose our test of bricks header. And this is the original one. So we'll call this default. By calling it default, Google or bots or anyone that we're not going to test on will see the default version by default. The version here, we'll choose the same test, but we'll call this one brown. Okay, we've just split test our header. Let's go check it out and see what the options look like. Because we're logged in, we're going to see the default version all the time, but we can go to the admin bar here and set default or brown to see the brown version. Click the button right here to jump to the results, of which we have none as we've just created the test. Since we're already here, we're going to create a new test. Or woo single and for this we'll give it the same conversion the WooCommerce checkout order received page cool now we can edit this page with bricks and what we'll do here is we will test adding some testimonials underneath And then we'll create another option. Okay, please ignore my terrible design here, but you get the idea. All you have to do here is select the container. Now it doesn't have to be the container. It can be absolutely anything at all. It can be split tested. You can swap text out with a heading, with a container, with anything. But just in this example, we'll do containers just to keep it easy. Again, we just go A, B, split test. Choose our test, we're single. This variation will be Three things we'll call it. And then this other one, we'll go we're single and we'll call it testimonial. Saved. This could be dynamic content based off the current commerce product. So you could pull in reviews or anything that you like here. But again, we're just keeping it quick and simple. Okay, now when we come back, we will see our testimonial is displayed by default or we can also see the three things version. Okay, now let's wait for some results to come in and then we can check out the results. And we'll come back after a while and let's check out the results from our header split test. It's where we have the brown or the default. And so far it looks like the brown has a higher conversion rate with a higher chance of winning. But we don't have quite enough information yet. AB split test does all the statistics to know when we've got enough data for visits and conversions. So once this gets to a 95% confidence, it will let you know. 
There's a heap more that you can do with AB split test, including using our free conversion AI. Just plug in your website URL and we'll give you actionable suggestions on how to improve your or any website. Head to absplittest.com to learn more.